Good morning. We're at Home Depot on Woodman and Academy and they got a smaller plant delivery. And I'm gonna highlight some of them here and now. So here's some big spider plants right in the center here. Calathea medallion, lots of these babies, several different varieties. There's some more right here. So pretty. Cyclamen. These guys with these beautiful silvery leaves and flowers of all different kinds and shapes. More Calathea or Ge Geopersia. And got a sea of polka dot plants. A couple begonias here. Really pretty. There's some red. Look at the beautiful leaves too. A little bit of color on the back there. And some Moses Cradle. Lots of little tiny palms. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. African violets. Blooming Kalinkawi in yellow. Just yellow today. Hydrangea. Finally, it's hydrangea season if you can grow them. It's pink and blue. And there's some purple over yonder. And let me finish over here. Ivy. I think this is Pothos and Joy. Peperomia, more ivy, Divinbachia. Here's some staghorn ferns. And these are all between like five or six and ten dollars each. Most of these are like six to ten dollars each. It's a beautiful zebra plant. Look at how lush it is. No crispy tips in sight. Here's some white arrowhead. There's one rabbit tracks prayer plant in here. Just this one guy. And it's in bloom. Golden pothos. And philodendron birkin. If you want to get a beautiful birkin plant, there's two or three plants in each of these pots. And they're starting to show beautiful variegation right now. More bigger golden pothos. This is their Diffenbachia or dumb cane. And there is mulwort staghorn ferns that are a little bit bigger. Or maybe they're the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. Agleonema or Chinese evergreen. It's a beautiful tiger stripes. More zebra plants. I believe these are like the size up from the ones over there. Crotons, if you want your heart broken. <laughs> and Fatsia japonica. How fun is that? There's several over there as well. We'll go around there. Over here's umbrella plants or chaflera. Some, some type of palm, fan palm or something. Some type of palm, lots of snake plants that are, eh, they're okay. They're not super great. You can see lots of weird tips. These are not the best ever, but if you want to try to rehab it, so it looks prettier. Golden pothos, lots and lots. So spider plants, lots and lots. Dracaena. Philodendron cellum, or hope. This is some kind of a rubber plant. Not sure what type it is because it's a little bit more green than a burgundy. Something going on with it too. 
wash my hands before I touch another plant. Fatsia japonica, here's the rest of them. Big, big, big plants. Peperomia, big raindrop peperomia. And here are some calla lilies. Calla lily, say that five times fast. Calla lily, calla lily. And we're back at more spider plants and uh, gardenia, I believe here. Gardenia, now, I wanna show you the succulents. Oh yeah, also I think I breezed over red nerve plants. And we got our seeds going on right here. Um, hanging up with the seeds is a soil tester if you want to test the alkalinity or the acidity of your soil. And I wonder if they have a moisture meter around here. They probably do, but I haven't seen one. Here is a brick of I think cocoa core which is great 298 for a brick and this expands to like many 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 times its size expands to eight quarts in two minutes I think it takes a little longer than two minutes but I think it's cocoa core let's see if it's uh, yep 100% cocoa core there it is. I use this for my frog vivariums. It's organic too, it's natural and organic. So that's really good to know when you're using it for your pet's terrariums. So you can also get this at pet stores, but 298, that's probably the best I've seen it for that size. So that's awesome. And then there's some organic seed starting mix is probably like Peat moss, yeah, peat moss, cocoa core, and vermiculite. And that's $5.98 for a 12 quart for an organic bag, that's not bad. Um, but for a regular bag, that's a little high. <laughs> okay, so I wanna show you the succulents. Oh wait, just kidding, I'm teasing you. Over here there are Lots of tulips and freesia. And here are more blooming kalanchoe in pink, like a magenta, orange, anthurium, bamboo, more blooming kalanchoe, and also white, more yellow, anthurium, peace lilies, lots of money trees. These guys are around 70, I think, for the bigger ones, and 30 for the smaller ones. Hydrangea. There's one that's a little bit purple. The rest are pretty blue. And a string of dolphins. There are probably 12 or 15 of these because there's some on the other side as well. And if you kind of take a sneak peek under here, there's whole new trays of succulents and they're beautiful. Check out some of these Haworthia. These are looking prime Haworthia. And I noticed that they have the little jelly bean ones, which are cute. And the spears, Senecio, Senecio cliniliformis, <laughs> spearhead. Senecio, which I think are cool. I think these look a little bit like the dolphins as well. Very cool. Chalk, blue chalk sticks, I think. Gasteria. This one's really pretty in red. And right here, these two right here, almost at the end, second to the end, are crested Echeveria. There's another one right here. Crested Echeveria. It's a one big plant and it's beautiful. I'll show it to you. Here's some Franken cactus as my friend Faith calls it. More blooming Kalinkoe. Aloe. Here's more trays. 
Look at those cute little jelly beans. There's flapjacks back here. She right there. Some sedum. Crassula watch chain, which is always nice. Under here, here's some more of this crested echeveria. See how it's like coral. And it's purpley. I'm not really picking up the color, but it's very purpley. Very pretty. There's several of them here, probably like eight or ten. You just gotta look for them a little bit. There's some under the table to my left, and then there are some here, and then there are a couple on the opposite side of the table to my left. More Haworthia. Look at this little variegated one. That's a gem. Lots of Haworthia. Look at, there's another variegated one right here. There's a jelly beans in bloom. I think it's actually called Sedum Aurora, but it's blooming, which is so fun. These little guys are cute too. Sedum Hernanzii. Sedum Hernandizii. Some cute bunny succulents. Bunny hope. Bunny, 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 bunny. Get in here before they hop away. <laughs> okay, wow, look at this baby. Let's see. Aloe or agave, I mean. Agave assorted. That's so frustrating. Look at those roots. Assorted agave. You don't want to get on the wrong side of this guy. Here's some nice big cactus. Cacti, fuzzy ones. These are the silver torch. Beautiful fairy guys. Here's some more Franken cactus. Billion and a half of them. Some assorted bowls and vases. And more cactus. And then here's a couple more of those crested echeverias, which are really pretty. Crested. Look at this one right here is in bloom. Look at those pretty flowers. It looks like a type of sedum as well, but look at the spiral. Look at how it spirals as it grows. It's beautiful. Mexican sedum. Sedum Mexicanum. More. Haworthia. These guys are excellent beginner succulents. There's all the dolphins on this side. Here's some watering canes for the kiddos or for you. Ready, set, grow. They're poppy daisy sunflower grow kits. They're $10 each. Here's the other side of this table with the hydrangea. There's some more flowers over here. Poppies. I mean tulips. <laughs> tulips. Look at the tops of these. Isn't that amazing? Okay. And then, um, Here are orchids, and there's next to it on the left are golden pothos, ferns, tradescantia, and then here, dracaena, and I think that's a dumb cane. And this guy is a Eglionema, maybe red valentine or dalmatian, red dalmatian or something. I forget the types of red ones. There's another dumb cane. And 
on that side over there is a bunch of fiddle leaf figs that look really pretty anthurium in this row blue and purple hydrangea and here are some assorted baskets of plants zebra plants there's some daisies pothos and joy and ivy croton blooming calicoe ivy african violet palm there's a few more with different things so it's kind of the same arrangement but one or two plants are different and a bunch of ferns i think this is ming or china doll aralia china doll aralia yes china doll these are really pretty They have very fancy leaves. And then a whole bunch of bird's nest ferns. And that's pretty much it for Home Depot. They also have all of your pots in the background there. They have some really pretty ones. Um, Here's something to keep an eye on for you pot loving people. These guys are like a plastic type of pot and I think they are 10 or 12 inch pots for five or six bucks. I think they are made of like composted plastic <laughs> or um, something recycled, recycled plastic. And they're really cheap. The smaller ones are only $2 each. I think they're called Wilson Planters. W-I-L-S-O-N Planters. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.